hi everyone and welcome back welcome to this uh, playlist where we are talking about swell kit everything about swell kit okay so in the last couple of videos we talked about the load function the server side data loading but uh, we forgot to talk about one on mount lifecycle hook which we can still use in uh, swell kit for doing a client side data fetching i mean there are uh, many ways to fetch the data you can create a plus page dot ts plus page dot server dot ts or you can do everything inside just a swelt component because we will be using the swelt component lifecycle hook on mount to fetch the data at the client side purely client side okay so how we do it so i created a photos as a photos uh, uh, route okay so in, in photos route we are going to write our own mount lifecycle method how to do it we just do import on mount from and times typo from svelte and this is how we'll get on mount is a lifecycle method like home destroy and all and here let's say we have photos as an empty array we initialized it and then on mount which will accept a async callback and inside this we can make a, i mean we can do some stuff which we wanted to execute at the client side it may be external api call response let's say await and we already have a fetch at the client side we don't need to get it from the same as the load function we don't need to get it from there and we can just use the placeholder apis or you can have you might have your own apis like this api posts i will just using this album api const uh, okay i will reassign the photos photos with await response dot json we just, just deserialize this and we got the photos right now we can just put a div class photos or whatever and inside this because we got the photos array we can write a e for each each photos as photo and we can access the photo object here we can do if let's say the photos are not available the api call is still being in progress we can just show some kind of a loading and this is the closer of for each okay this looks fine and here we can just simply i mean i'm not good at building ui just showing the demos for examples here we can do photo dot title let's say so what actually we are doing here we are doing client side data fetching we are using on mount as a lifecycle hook of the swelt js because we are using swelt js in swelt kit we are not using the swelt kit load functions at the server side or the client side and we i mean this is a component which is not getting the exported load function with data i mean you can still create uh, here page.ts uh write the load function fetch the data there and pass it to here let's say if i write a page.ts then same code you can write using server side what i need to do is we can just use the existing methods let's say layout server.ts or page.ts here we are in the photos so page.ts will use the same api okay now i was in photos this is page.svelte and i'm in the page.ts i will change this to that and this is the post so i can access it using data.posts right let's see how it is running first and then we will see the next part okay it should be able to give me the photos and it's all happening at the client side 
you can see when you are hitting reload it's making an api call using fetch at the client side and there is a light loading state will also you will see loading and then the content is getting rendered it's all client side because we are using this on mount uh, hook same thing we are doing here is uh, we are actually making this api call but this is uh, the load function which is client side and server side both okay it's not plus page dot server dot ts if i make it plus page dot server dot ts then this exported load function with this data will be available uh, once this load function is has completed the execution so it will further so these are the two different ways to load the data i mean you can use the load function in Swellkit, kit which is server side uh, and client side both like if you are writing code in the page.ts and the load function if you are writing the load function in the page.server.ts layout.server.ts that runs on the server and if you want to just fetch the data in the component totally client side then you can just use on mount lifecycle hook which actually triggers at the client side so this component will be rendered from the server side and then this lifecycle hook gets initiated when the component renders on the browser so the server side task is done now the client will execute this on mount lifecycle hook and make access our request and get the data and the data will be published here so these are the couple of ways uh, in which Swellkit is allowing you to fetch the data and i am only talking about the latest version of Swellkit, where we have the load functions and these new file extensions like we are writing server.ts page server.ts page dot ts layout.ts layout server.ts in the different directories based on the dynamic routing okay uh, that's all uh, in the next video let's build couple of more applications